His hunting style is kind of a mixture between the two. Um, he's not as aggressive or active as the frogs, but he does actively swim around and he'll root around in the bottoms of rivers and swamps and stuff to look for food. So if you notice his face, he's got this kind of flat shovel shaped head and he uses that to dig around under stuff. But like the axolotls, he eats very quickly. He also doesn't, luckily for me, none of these animals have sharp teeth. <laughs> And they have all bit me at least once. On accident or? So not on accident, but also not really trying to eat me. The way that most of these guys hunt is very reactionary. So when something moves near them, their first like immediate trigger instinct is to bite it because it might be a meal. Now, obviously once they, if they got a hold of my finger, they very quickly realize that I am too big for them to swallow and they spit me out. But again, it's, they don't even really think about it. It's just like a instant gut reaction to try and eat something that moves. Which is a very successful strategy for them in the wild. Amphibians are a very, very ancient, very old, one of the oldest groups of animals on the planet that live on land and freshwater at least. Hmm. Now the last thing we're gonna give him is some crushed snails. Out in the wild, a big portion of this guy's diet is going to be little shellfish, snails, stuff with hardened shells, and those shells have certain proteins in them that are very good for his diet. There we go. There's one on that rock in the middle. I don't know if you can see it on the video. Oh, there he is. Yeah. So we keep a bunch of ghost shrimp in most of these tanks for a couple reasons. First of all, it's good enrichment for these animals because it gives them a chance to actually hunt like they would in the wild, to hunt a living thing. Second, as they swim around, the shrimp's main diet is detritus, which is basically waste. So whenever the larger animals poop or when a plant dies and starts to break down, um, the little ghost shrimp, and we also have snails in here, they basically, they go and clean it up for me. They make my job a little easier. So they double as a cleanup crew and a snack. The rat in there, he's gonna like sniff the air for a minute, and then he'll locate it. He might waver back and forth for a second, but then he's gonna strike like in a millisecond, and, oh, then, and then he'll coil around it. Uh, <laughs>